The Lawman Lynch Show on BFS TV New York. We are entertaining. We are educational. We are engaging. Every Thursday at 9.30 a.m. and a repeat at 5.30 p.m. Time Warner Spectrum Channel 34, Optimum Channel 67, RCN Channel 82, and Verizon Fios Channel 42. Watch anywhere around the world at brickartsmedia.org forward slash one. Welcome back to the Lawman Lynn Show. Last week, we were in studio with Keisha Martin and we're back to continue this two-part episode. So the era that I came to the States in was basically the era where it wasn't cool to be Jamaican. Now everybody's like embracing it, but I grew up in a time when it wasn't cool to be Jamaican really? and growing up was very rough because you had a very heavy accent as mm -hmm. a child and you're in elementary school and kids here were very mean. Mm -hmm. We were bullied every single day. This is for my baby, I know you're gonna like it. There to entertain, but they have no soul. Um, so I believe when you heard Keisha, 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 it ignited something at the in Apollo. Me. That it's, it's it all ignited about something in me, man. It made me feel like this. And I've had so much opposition and so many. I've heard so many negative things about myself, but I laugh because if people are not talking about you, you're not doing. You're not on the path. You're you know, what my mother told me when I was growing up, Leon, which she calls me by my middle name. Mm -hmm. If everybody likes you, something is wrong with you. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, something Absolutely. is wrong. And the very first time, and you know, music for life is coming up. Mm -hmm. And um, when I started to do the, the running order for it, um, the only sound that kept, you know, playing in my mind was a song. First of all, you're the first person I heard, first female artist I heard live on a stage when I moved to the US. Mm. So it was back in 2010. Yeah, that's and it. you performed I Hope You Dance. Yes. And it is, I, I know you have done a lot of you know recordings mm. after that, but there's something about that song when you sing it that still gives me um, chills. How would being a female in such a male dominated mm. industry um, not only as an as, as the as a talent you know in front of the mic you know but behind, behind the, the scenes, scenes as, as well, well yeah. so I can tell you it's been really rough um, it's been rough because we are not recognized or given the, the just due mm -hmm. for what we represent in this business mm -hmm. as women and there is, I understand the reasoning for it, because you have a group of people who don't have a passion for it, right. but has a talent, and they say, all right, the idea of getting into the business is just either laying on their back or doing things that is immoral. Mm -hmm. And so that's not what it's about. And we have to, people like me, at the end of the day, I'm going to stand firm in what I believe in, mm -hmm. that this is a God-given talent. and. No matter what and who try to say what and do what, mm -hmm. this is going to evolve into how mm -hmm. God intended right, for right, it. Right. Um, this is part two of our two part series yeah. with Keisha Martin, and we're happy to have you back with us. Let's continue the conversation with Keisha. Right, right. So, you have the women then who come in the business, or the young women who come in the business and they're talented, but then you have the predators in this business mm -hmm. that are males. And they feel like they can tell these young people with talent what they want to tell, they think they want them to hear to get where they want to get, and then discard them. Right. So that has created an issue for the business. But again, there are promoters who are also a part of the problem, who are not putting female artists, you know, because in their mind, they're going with popularity as opposed to understanding that this is a whole industry that has a numerous amount of talented females as well as males. Yes. And so you need to understand there's a balance. Right. And give the women the opportunity to shine as well as the men then. Right. Because nobody's going to say, well, me now come at a show there because Keisha Martin up on the stage. Mm -hmm. Because whether, I know, whether I'm known by an audience or not, I've gone places where nobody knows who I am. And you deliver. And I deliver. And right. that's the thing. And people who knows me will come out to see me. Right. But 
the impression is that oh well she can't pull a big enough audience or whatever the situation but if you already have a lineup that's pulling an audience what's the problem with putting another artist, artist right, on the right. lineup that's going to bring you another another crowd a different right. crowd but you see i'm i'm all about quality Absolutely. you know and and like i said with the first female artist i saw when i moved to the us was you and the, the voice, the soul, you know, stuck with me since then. So even when I, whenever I, I think of an, a live event, you know, you always come to mind. And, you know, in, in planning Music for Life this year, I, I, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have the likes of a Nadine Sutherland. You know, who in her own right is a living legend, you know, Etana, who's doing great stuff globally, yes. you know, um, she's closing shows in Europe and Absolutely. Africa, pulling thousands, 30, 40, 50,000 audiences. Yes. And I'm like, I know these women, you know, they, they have global appeal, you know, people know them. And I couldn't pull off Music for Life this year without having you on the lineup, you I know. Um, but why? why? Why Music for Life? Why do why you want to be a part of this? Well, the, my first experience of being a part of Music for Life, first of all, I love Music for Life and what it represents. Right. Um, and at the end of the day, anything, if anyone knows me, they know that I'm a big, I'm a charity whore. Right. I'm sorry to I say know. it like hey, that. I have my own organization. Right. However, I'm familiar with your organization and what you represent because I've been a part of Music for Life right. before and it's just a great atmosphere for anyone that wants to be bring your family out and just enjoy an evening of awesomeness for a worthy cause the right. production is always on point Thank the you. organizing I love that so see that's another thing if a, if a promoter is not organized then you can't call me mm -hmm. but I just need to have one bad experience and you can't call me again I'm sorry but that's what it is because I, I don't do this for money, right? So I do it for the love of it, and anything you need for the love, you know, do it for that. Yes. <laughs> to be not to be cliche, not to be cliche, but yes, I do it for a, a genuine love for it. Right. And like I said before, in regards to who I choose to work with, has to do with that, right. and why I've been working with Andre for so many years because, and we have such a tight knit. And, you know, this it's like my brother. It's mm -hmm. not like my producer because when we're in here, we, are, we come like two mad people when we're in here uh, record because the excitement. Yes, we're saying stay true and go on because we're, and we're just recording. Right, right, right. Because there's this, this innate love and passion and when we hear a note and, you know, he's inspiring because he's like, you know, he's encouraging and listen, I'm not perfect. So when right. I'm in the studio recording, he must say, no, 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 that's not Keisha mm -hmm. Martin. And he would give me one little pep talk. Right, I say, right, yeah, more right. I hear the Keisha Martin. <laughs> Let me know, you know, that, you know, right. that soul and that passion. And I'm like, I, I'm grateful for that. This is for my baby. I know you're gonna like it. So I've been in the studio with people who afraid to tell me, say, why they know they never sound too good enough because of who I am. Right. That's weird for me. Right, right. Because I don't think, not that I don't think I'm anyone, but I'm human just like everybody else. Right. And I'm not a diva. So never, I don't never want anyone to think that, oh, you can't tell me that nothing because I'm not one of those artists who I'm learning every day right. and I think that's what artists lack whether you love it or whether you're in it for fame right. or whatever you have to be in learning right, right. you have to be the student constantly in life right. not just with music but with anything that right. you're trying to achieve right. you have to be a student right. a student of life right. Right. and anything that you're trying to accomplish if you no one knows everything right. So you have to be willing to learn something from anybody that you encounter because you encounter them because of the experience and there's something to be learned from it. And I tell people all the time that in order to be a good leader, sometimes you have to know how to follow. Absolutely. You know, I was a follower and I'm still a follower, you know, and that really um, sharpens and shapes you, yeah, yes. yeah, my leadership. Yes. By the way, Ed Robinson. Yes, I'm like, I'm excited about <laughs> that. You, I, but you're excited perform, to you're performed on... On, on shows with Ed before. Yeah, with the last Music for Life. Yeah, you've done... And, and before that. You've done yeah. shows with, with Nadine as well? No, I've never performed. Etana. I'm looking forward to both of those. Yeah. That, yeah, that's a highlight for me. Yeah. I've never performed with them before. I mean, I've done... Like I said, it's male-dominated. Yeah. So then when them spread out, the woman them, you have, you have one woman mm -hmm. a lineup with like 10 men. Mm -hmm. And there's the man face and the one woman. And right, it's like, right. okay. 
where's the women in the show? I even went to the Rebel Salute um, launch uh, before it happened yeah. in uh, Milk River, River right. and I had a conversation with um, with Tony and um, Ifrica. Ife, Queen Africa, mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, I would love to see more women on the show. On the show. And I'm and I said to him, I said, I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you in 2019. Yeah. I couldn't make it this year. But I, my plan is to actually, even if I don't, I'm not on the program. Mm -hmm. I want the way I want to go down for Rebel Salute in 2019. So that's the idea. But I'm planning on hitting the road in terms of like touring. There's right. a lot of shows lined up and stuff like that. We should go together. What are some of your challenges? You, you talk about you know not enough women in the. That's what the that there is not enough women. We don't have enough support. We don't support each other enough. I feel like like every like everything if people were to band together like you know the women there are getting a fight if mm -hmm. we were to actually have more camaraderie we would be winning right. and think i think that's one of the challenges mm -hmm. you understand me you might see people on them par and they okay with each other but i've never seen a group of women coming together and actually sitting down it's something i plan on actually doing outside of the music industry but i want to see more women come together Mm -hmm. I want to see more reasoning happen. Yes, you might see somebody and you respect them and you know they mm -hmm. give them love, but where's the conversation? Where's the village? Where's the women balance? Because guess what? In history, if you really know history about what women represent in this world, like in the, there's Africa's villages in Africa back in the days where the women were the catalyst. Those right. are the ones that kept things together. Right. I don't see that anymore. Right. You're, you know, there's no I'm your sister's keeper, I'm right. your brother's keeper right. kind of vibe. And I want to see more of that in the music industry. You know, shout outs to Shaggy and his donation to the hospital in Jamaica because mm -hmm. that was a big thing. And you know, I you know you hear comments and stuff like that, and I'm like, people look at things, but when you make a comment, then what have you done for Jamaica? Jamaica. Mm -hmm. What have you done for the children who needs, um, you know, assistance? Right. And the thing is, that's why I, I say music for, for life. life. Right. That is why I say that. Because music for life is, like I said, one of those things. I pick and choose my charities. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm to support. And that's one of the organizations that I really know why I, I say it. music for life. I so make sure to come and the thing. <laughs> I know you're working on an album right now. Almost ready, yes. Almost ready. Yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, man. So, as long as I've been in the business, I've never done an album. I've put out singles, mm -hmm. but never done a full album. And I feel like this is like kind of one of those anticipated things. And I decided to go with doing a full reggae production mm -hmm. and kind of come away from the mixture of R&B and reggae right. because so I'm a part of an organization called CBR of course mm -hmm. you know who they are um, and you know I, I like what they represent I like the, the fact that they're trying to keep reggae music alive um, that's not the reason why I went this in this route but I say that to say reggae music is lacking Mm -hmm. right now the support that it needs and people need to remember why they fell in love with reggae right. music and so that's why i went in the direction of the right. album and funny enough a lot of musicians if you listen to their story they'll tell you that um they're influenced mm -hmm. by reggae yep sting just had an interview the other day mm -hmm. and he said the same thing a lot of um the rock sand he had a um interview with uh, i think pat mckee mm -hmm. and he said it. he said rock sand was written in jamaica, jamaica yeah. And there was a, a lot of reggae influence mm -hmm, there, mm -hmm. and you know every step you yeah that take, one yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I was I'm I'm aware and people don't understand even hip hop mm -hmm. yep cool her yep start yep. hip hop but yep. he's a Jamaican so right. it's like you know it's it's this album has is just like I can definitely say I I'm very proud mm -hmm. I'm excited like about the work because of where the, the shape it's taken right. and the material. It's, it's inspiring because, you know, we have a little bit of rock steady. We mm -hmm. have a little bit of, you know, you heard right. um, this the former Babies tune right. that we're actually going to voice the um, vocals for. We do the vocals for today. Is, is, you are a, oh my gosh, you, I, I heard it on social media yesterday. What? The clip you were doing yesterday mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. um, which song is that? You know, it's so funny. I came to the studio because I haven't been at the studio in weeks, mm -hmm. right? 
So, and I came for like that, 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 mm -hmm. that lift. So he played, Andre played the track and it's something we're working on. Mm -hmm. Though that those words just came to me and that no, uh, 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 uh. you got to you got to do it you got to do it you have to do it I'm telling you there just came to me in that moment that's, and that's... because that's how I was feeling I woke up feeling so so good and so you know because a lot of people don't don't know mm -hmm. but you know I I kind of like um Okay, so early on last year, I was diagnosed with PTSD, and that's because okay. of like stuff that I haven't dealt with and history right. and stuff like that. So, you know, um, so I have my moments where I really I'm not I feel down and you know kind of depressed or whatever the case is. And I, when I I have people, you know, when people say withdrawal when mm -hmm. you're when you're a drug addict mm -hmm. and you're you have you haven't had a hit. For me, that's music. Mm -hmm. So I was suffering from withdrawal, right. and I came into the studio, mm -hmm. and I got my hit of music. So right. when the music came on, I'm like, "It's Black History Month," and I'm like, "Yo!" In my head, these are the words that so just came on, to you're me. You're telling me in that, that moment, that I made it up. A... I made it up. That that when you saw it, I made it up. You know, it is something that you have to. No, work we're on writing about. right now. Okay. Yes, yes, because I was inspired, and that's how all of my. All of my songs come to me like that. Right. Like when I'm listening to a track, I, I'm in a mood, I'm in a, it's a feeling, something I've seen, maybe something I'm experiencing, or just I want to tell a story. I want to inspire somebody. Right. I want to inspire myself to right. feel good about a day or whatever. Like right. if you, there's uh, different tracks on the album. You have Just As I Am, which is a song that mm -hmm. basically is self empowerment and just telling people just accept yourself for right. who you are. Because in the, in the age of like so many plastic surgery and everybody right. doing, but I wrote, that song in when the bleaching era was like this big big thing mm -hmm. so i was it was intended just to let women know like you know embrace your blackness embrace right. you know your you your, your being a brown person because right. at the end right. of the day you're beautiful you're what amazing. motivates you what inspires you just waking up every day honestly that's that's a motivation for me because if you know my story you'd be like wow you've been through all of that mm -hmm. so i'm like when I look back on where I'm coming from, what mm -hmm. I've been through, and the things I've seen that I should not have seen, mm -hmm. I'm like, God, you're amazing. Right. You have a purpose for my life, and this is it. And my story will be told one day, and someone will be inspired by it. But in the meantime, he says inspire through music. Right. And that's what, that's what motivates me. When I go on a stage, and I go into an audience, and I open up my mouth, and nobody don't know who I am, but I'm able to have an impact on somebody, somebody felt what I was trying to convey in a song, mm -hmm. Or more than one people, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm, that makes my day. Right, right. That makes me feel good because the work is being done. Right. right I'm right. I'm doing what I was put here to do. To do your purpose. Yes. Right. I started out as a producer, and then I learned, you know, I realized that I was making all these songs, but I didn't know I, I couldn't get them mixed and get them sounding like that radio quality. So right. 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 I learned engineering, and then you know, I fell in love with engineering, and just made that my job for a while. So now we're back to producing, making records, releasing records, right. doing it, you know, um, that way. What, 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 what has it been like working for the Keisha Martin? Or working with? Yes. Not yeah, for. not for, with. It's been great. I mean, you know, um, we have a great musical chemistry. Mm -hmm. When we get together, the ideas just flow endlessly. And, you know, we have a lot of fun making the records and, um, you know, we're really looking forward to, to sharing it with the, with the right. world, you know, starting with this and some of the, the others right. that's coming soon. Yeah, she, yeah. She's sounding good. Yeah, man. Yeah, she's yeah, man. sounding great. She's sounding spectacular. Yeah. Man. Well, I record, you know, singers, and musicians, mm -hmm. artists for a living. And, you know, for all the years I know Keisha, she's still one of the best that right. I've ever recorded. You right. know, like. You know, there's a there's a question I forgot to ask her when I was talking to her um not too long ago. I know she's behind, she's around in the music booth, but I I need Keisha to to come in this shot right now because there's a question <laughs> I want to ask her. Keisha, <laughs> Keisha Rubin, I want you right in the middle. I want you right in the middle, right here, right in the mix. Okay. When do you remember the first time you heard someone who coined the the, the phrase? Queen of jam rock soul. Oh my gosh. Oh, so it's a hip hop artist that mm -hmm. gave me that title. Um, Chemist the Genius, that's his name. Um, 
I worked, I like ran into him. Honestly, he found me on MySpace. Mm -hmm. And he inboxed me and, you know, we became cool and, you know, he had a recording session. He was finally ready to work with me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he he brought me to the studio. I don't remember where in Brooklyn it was or it wasn't in Brooklyn or Queens. I don't remember. And we were in the studio the night. And I think after we recorded, um, it was this song called Legend. I am a legend. Mm -hmm. So after that song was recorded, like, he inboxed me one day and it was still MySpace was still popular. Right. <laughs> And he messaged me, and the title in the subject line was, What's up, Queen of Jam Rock? So, <laughs> and I'm like, ever since then, honestly, yeah. it's just been crazy. Like, it just stuck. It's stuck, right? It's stuck. And um, everyone, even like my friend Screechy Dan, and he was like, Yo, that fits you. And they, everybody just ran with it. And I, love I it. just, I, 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 love I it. like it because it it's, it's, it fits. It fits. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, you guys are doing fantastic work. Congratulations. I'm excited. You just excited. Continue doing the great work that you're doing. I'm looking forward to seeing you all at Music for Life. Of course, of you know, course. she's on the bill. So you yeah, know, so, yeah, yeah. so you know he's there. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, anything Keisha Martin, Andre did it. You know, it. He's always been a part of like any kind of big moments right. for me, and this, you know, not only the reason why I work with, like I said, he's like a brother to me, right. but the chemistry, like he said, between us musically is just so, it's so great, and to have someone that is as passionate as a, about the music as you are, and who loves it and respects it and wants to create it in a way where people it's gonna there's gonna be such longevity and I have no doubt about this project. I mean I'm not even bragging. Right. I'm just saying the music will speak for itself when it, it hits speaks. the street right. and we just want people to embrace it the way we embrace it. And it's just to bring back people to when they fell in love with reggae music. Right, right. And that's the idea of the album. Hence we're not leak the title now. <laughs> <laughs> Keisha not Martin the title, guys. <laughs> Keisha Martin and of course Dre Andre, Lloyd. Andre Lloyd, producer yes. Extraordinaire. And you're at Thank BG you. Studio. BG Studio. Bam. Alright. Turn your eyes down low. And uphold your window curtain. Oh, let your moon come shining in. Into my eyes again.
want you to look into that camera now mm. and inspire um, our viewers, our listeners. Inspire your yeah, viewers. Yeah, man. Listeners. Say something to them. Inspire them. Oh, man. So, I want to say to anyone watching, anyone listening right now, no matter what your circumstances, no matter where you come from, your life here on earth, it is for a reason. And even if you're searching and you're trying to figure out, prayer works. It does. And I can tell you, the closer you get to your maker, the more you will evolve and get closer to what he wants you to do. Just wake up every day, be thankful, and just live. Don't just live. Don't just exist. Live. Live. Because it is important right. that your existence is felt in this life. I want to thank you, Keisha Martin. I really appreciate you. I love you. I respect you. Appreciate You're you. extremely thank talented. Thank you so much. And I want to thank you all for watching. This has been another episode of The Lawman Lynn Show right here on Brooklyn Free Speech Brick TV. Um, remember, in everything you do, be the best you. Thanks for watching. The Lawman Lynch Show on BFS TV New York. We are entertaining. We are educational. We are engaging. Every Thursday at 9.30 a.m. and a repeat at 5.30 p.m. Time Warner Spectrum Channel 34, Optimum Channel 67, RCN Channel 82, and Verizon Fios Channel 42. Watch anywhere around the world at BrickArtsMedia.com dot o r g forward slash one